WHO or the World Health Organization is honored to be present at the launch of the 2023 edition of the African Vaccination Week and the Child Health Promotion Week, which are being celebrated across our continent. The African Vaccination Week under the theme Catch Up, Big Catch Up. This annual event was conceived by the African Union Heads of States and is celebrated in the last week of April and indeed synchronized with the World Immunization Week. Today's event is, be, is the beginning of a one-year push of the big catch-up to reverse the backsliding of reduced immunization that we experienced over the last three years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The African Vaccination Week seeks to raise awareness about the importance of, of immunization in protecting against the various vaccine preventable diseases. This year's theme, the big catch up, is therefore timely given the challenges countries have faced, particularly over the past three years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As you all know, this pandemic has contributed to the rise of the vaccine preventable diseases across a number of countries of the world. Nanache, vaccination is the most cost-effective public health intervention available, and it is estimated that immunization presents, prevents between two to three million deaths each year. Vaccines are not only do not only protect the individual who receives them, but also create population head immunity, which helps to protect the entire community, including those who are unable to be vaccinated. As we celebrate the 2023 African Vaccine Week, we must work together in the spirit of the Sustainable Development Goals to ensure that no child is left behind. This means investing in strong immunization systems, increasing vaccine coverage, and ensuring that vaccines are accessible to all that needs them. We must also address vaccine hesitancy, which has become a growing concern in recent years, especially in, our, in relation to our COVID-19 vaccine deployment. Misinformation and mistrust have led some people to refuse vaccination, putting them at risk of the disease. We must work to address these concerns, provide accurate information, and build trust in vaccines and the health systems that deliver them. We also need to ensure that the vaccine logistics are working to avoid stockouts. Nanache, despite the challenges highlighted, Ghana must be commended for the great strides made in improving and sustaining vaccination coverage over the years in question. With the support of the various partners and civil society, efforts have been made to enable children in most of the remotest parts of this country access life-saving vaccines. At this juncture, let me share a story of a five-year-old Rama who comes from the Savelugu municipal, municipality of the northern region, who unfortunately got infected with measles this year. Unlike other children in her community, Rama did not have protection against measles virus because vaccines could not reach her soon enough. Her education had to be put on hold as her parents sought care at the local district hospital. The household income was also impacted as her parents abandoned the farming activities to take care of her. Rama's story and other similar ones illustrate how infectious diseases, in particular vaccine preventable diseases, can have far reaching consequences on the individual, family, community, and society at large. It also reflects the significance of the African vaccination week and this year's theme in particular as we mobilize to undertake the big catch-up to reach children like Rama. 
to our friends in the media, we recognize the critical role you play in holding the government and all stakeholders, including ourselves, accountable for ensuring that vaccines are accessible and are of high quality. I'd like to urge you to continue to ask all the relevant questions, to investigate any concerns or reports of vaccine hesitancy, and to use your platforms to help raise awareness about the importance of vaccines and to dispel any myths and misinformation that may be circulating. Together, we can make sure that every person in Ghana has the opportunity to live a healthy, vaccine-preventable, disease-free life. Nanache, as I conclude, I want to commend the efforts again of the Minister of Health and the Ghana Health Service and the health partners and urge all of you to redouble our efforts to ensure that every child has access to life-saving vaccines. Let us work together to build a healthier, more resilient future for all our children. On our part, WHO and its sister UN agencies in Ghana will continue to support the government to achieve vaccine equity and universal health coverage. Happy Vaccination Week, as well as Happy Child Promotion Week to all of us. Thank you very much. <laughs>